record yet. Excellent. Good morning, good morning. Let us start off with our usual warm up. Um, so I'm going to give you three exercises. You're going to start with running high knees, 20 on each side, followed by shuffle punch. Uh, let's go for 10 on each side. Oh, watch that door. Um, followed by intra into cobra. Probably about four or five of those are enough. Spend enough time stretching out into that cobra, elongating hip flexors and um, abs. Dun, dun, dun. So that's your warm up. birds or somebody else's birds? That might be mine. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, there we go. Okay, so three exercises. You're running high knees. Make sure you're moving your arms, popping your elbows back. Squat punches, trying to get like good, oh no, shuffle, shuffle punches is what I said we're going for. Making sure you still go for a nice big punch through the torso. We're not tickling the air. We're trying to be aggressive and move through a full range of motion. Cobra into inchworms. Always remember when you're coming back on your inchworms, you're keeping your knees nice and straight. So you're getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Cobra, remembering to push your ears away from your shoulders and feel that stretch through the hip flexors. Let's do a couple. Stretching nice and long, push your shoulder back, the blades back and down, opening up the hips. If you want to, you can twist slightly as well. Get a bit more of one hip flexor and the other. Back up again. Keep your legs straight. Well, I'm going to give you another minute or so to finish off what you're doing, and then you'll start from the top. Every joint and every main muscle group. All right, okay, finish the exercise that you're on and let's start from the top. Stretching out neck. Rolling the shoulders. Big arm circles. Ooh, your shoulders. Open up the chest. And pivot to the torso.
All right. Big hip circles. And next, working through the legs. So hamstring stretches, hip flexor stretches, and we're ready to go. Hamstrings. Hip flexors, you're into a nice long lunge. Stretching down front of the thigh. Bring your arms up to help you elongate through there. Okay, let me explain to you the set today. It is slow, fast, and explosive. So what we do here, we take three, we take an exercise and perform three variations of this exercise, pretty much close to well, back to back, a few seconds rest. Um, and what we're aiming for is a different kind of contraction for each of the exercises. So first exercise is going to be unsurprisingly the squat. We're going to start with super slow heavy squats. We're going to move on to heels, elevated squats. So you're going to need something to put your heels up onto. And your third exercise is going to be explosive squat jumps. The so same movement, three different types of contraction. So you'll need your weights and you'll need something to put your heels on. I'll give you a few seconds to go find something. And then we'll kick off. The timer also gets shorter. We start quite long with the slows, but we're up uh, at about a minute, 45 for the fast, 30 seconds for the explosive. Really, really important. You should be moving or trying to move your muscles in a very different way between one and the other. Looks for timer. Note to self, I need to have a timer create clear out. There we go, 60, 45, 30. Okay, so super slow means four, three, two, one, and up. Okay, four seconds on the down. Rack your weights, weights and hands, and we're ready to go in three, two, one. Let's move. Four, three, two, one, up. Good. Four, three, two, one, up. 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 Keep it going. So far, so good. Remember, you're still going down on the one, four whole seconds of descent up nice and fast on that. Up, four, three, two, one. Up, push your, your knees apart at the bottom. Don't allow your knees to cave in. Nearly there. And that's your first bell. Okay, so a little bit of a rest. Next up, you can go slightly lighter if you want on your, on your weights. Your heels are going higher. And don't forget, this is the one where your feet, where you go all the way down, but only the two, two thirds of the way up. So yoga block is quite a good one for this. Heels nice and high, all the way down, two thirds of the way up. Right? So you're keeping the tension in your quads. Right, let's go for it. In three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds here on the hook. All the way down, two thirds of the way up. So keep the tension in your knees. Your heels should be quite close together this time. So your knees are coming forward and not outwards like they might have been in the previous squat variation. And don't forget, we're looking for a fast contraction. Make it very different from the previous one. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, Mo going through most of the range, all the way down, but not locking out at the top. Wait for it, wait for it. Soon, I promise. There we go. Oh, lovely. 
pop it down. Squat jumps is next. We want an explosive jump, so take your time, load it up, and try to get as high off the floor as possible. So this one is big, big jumps, loads of loading. In, oh, hang on, in three, two, one, let's go. Big jumps, load it up, land softly with your knees bent and your hips bent, soaking up the impact in your legs. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on, keep it going. You've got maybe four jumps left. And there we go, first set done. Awesome. Okay, good stuff. Nice long break, that was your first set. Of course, we have two more to go. Happy days. All right, so only thing I would repeat, let's get a better view of this so that I can show you, is that in your squats, your bar squats, we want to go all the way in, two thirds of the way up. So we still want most of the range, right? We're not just balancing here at the bottom. We go all the way down, most of the way up, but not, not totally up, okay? So keep, the range as big as you can. Having your heels quite high up makes it easier to get lower down, but don't lock out at the top. All right. Okay. Put your water bottles down. Get ready to rack your weights. Okay, we're going to go second set in three, two, one. Remember, it's super slow. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two. One up, keep it going. Four, three, two, one up. Remember at the bottom, you're trying to rip that sheet of paper apart with your feet. So imagine you're standing on a piece of paper and you're trying to rip it apart by pushing your feet apart. Also push your knees apart at that bottom of the squat, helping you to engage your glutes. Four, three, two, one, and up. And there's your bell. Perfect, perfect. Okay, good, good, good. Little breather. You might want to go slightly lighter on the weights if you have the option here. It is brutal. Your quads will be screaming out of you out at you um, in this and this is the way it should be. So heels nice and high, but also not too far apart. You want enough space so that your ankles don't rub. Maybe I don't know, three or four inches apart. Rack your weights. Two, one, let's go. All the way in, two thirds of the way up. That's it, lovely Laura. There we go, good, good, good. That's it, super Kelly. You can go as fast as you like on this one, Kelly. I know it's your preferred option of speeding through. Sometimes I'll let you go. Right, all the way in, all the way, two thirds of the way up. Remember to think about pulling your shoulder blades back, especially at this point, the weight kind of wants to topple you over. You need to resist to keep your chest up, shoulder blades pinned together. Final few seconds, keep it going. Super job. Wait for it. Here we go. Done. Nice. Oh, yes. Lots of leg punching going on and leg shaking. Knows it's worked. Makes me know it's worked. All right, ready for your big squat jumps in three, two, one. Let's go. Load it up. 
Get nice and low, push up, extend through the knees and the hips. Keeping it going, loading it up, driving away from the floor. Nice, set two, done. Have any good time yet? Yeah. Okay, just one more of these, and then we're going to move on to our upper body set. Which, spoiler alert, every time we've done it, there's been a lot of complaining about. So there's that to look forward to. Okay, grab your last sips of water, put your water bottles down, rack your weights. We're ready to go for round three, weight in hand, in two and one, let's go. Four, three, two, one, up. Four, three, two, one, up. Hopefully you've got this tempo ringing in your ears by now. Up, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one, up, on your own. See if you can keep synchronization across the screen. Let's see who's going too fast. Four, three, two, one, up. Can I say, Amy, perfect tempo. And relax. Okay. Final time on these close stance, heels elevated squats. So pick up your lighter weight if you have one, get your heels nice and high. Give your head a wobble. Your job is to just keep going in two and one. Let's go all the way down two thirds of the way up. Keep the weight through your quads, quadriceps, that's the muscles in front of your thighs. Imagine you're pushing the floor away with your toes. And it's a good alternative to um, the sort of leg press machine that you get in the gym. That's the idea here. Imagining you're pushing the floor away or imagining you're pushing the leg press away in a machine in a gym. 10 seconds, keep working it. Chest stays high, don't let that kettlebell pull you over. Pushing the floor away, not allowing yourself to put all the work through your back. But there you go, there's your bell. Okay, final 30 seconds, squat jumps in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, nice big powerful jump, super, super. Make sure you're getting as high off the ground as you can and making sure you're pushing all the way through your hips as, and extending through your hips. So finish the jump with your hips pushed all the way forward, squeezing through your glutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe four more jumps. There you go. Round three of three is done. Nice long break. Nice long break. Put your blocks on your books away. Thinking about it, all those Harry Potter books would be brilliant for this, wouldn't they? Okay. Everyone's gone away, so I'll wait a minute before explaining round two. This is our upper body set. Okay, so 
we are going to start off. So I'll start with the good news. The good news is that all the timer is shorter on this. So uh, even the long one is a less time. The bad news is that it's all upper body and it's pretty hideous. Your first exercise is going to be, um, they're called press ups. Check my mind block there, press ups. Four, three, two, one. I expect you to all be on your toes. And then don't worry too much about how you're getting up. So you need to start that press up on your toes. Let me see if I can swivel this around and quickly show you. It's the huge work all the way down on your toes. Four, three, two, one. Come up any old way. Remember, it's not four, barely moving, three, so barely moving, two, and then drop down on the ground. Okay. You need to work through the range of motion that is hardest for you. So keep it equal, or if anything, load up the bottom range a bit harder so you get the benefits out of the exercise. Exercise number two is going to be press up, but super fast. So this time you're gonna drop onto your knees, push your hips all the way forward, and you're looking to get them out as fast as you can. Exercise number three, you grab a weight in your hand and you're going with explosive shoulder presses or thrusters. Weight is here, boom, boom, throw it. Imagine that you're throwing it up. Don't actually throw it up because um, that's not a clever idea. But imagine that you're throwing it up, you use your legs to help you move the weight, to generate momentum. That's really all I need to say. But back to the good news, we're starting at 50 seconds for this one. 50, 40, 30. All right, so super slow on your press ups. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. On your toes, shoulder blades pushed back and down. Also, please don't spend lots of time lying on the bottom and on your mat come up as quickly as you can so you get more reps done. Tempo is still four, three, two, one. Push it up anyhow, good. Four, three, two, one. Nice stuff, keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Good, come on. I think you can all squeeze in one more for me. Okay, stay where you are. Super fast press ups this time. In three, two, one, let's go. Super fast, super fast. Punch them in and out. Try to keep your head position where it should be. So looking a little bit over your fingertips. Come on, come on, come on, as many as you can. 10 seconds left. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, and up you get. Thrusters is next. In three, two, one, let's go. Imagine you're throwing that weight over your head. Use your legs to powerfully explode upwards, but control on the way down. So you're controlling the weight on its way down. Keep it going. Oh, we're liking these. Come on, come on, come on. Couple more. And there we go. The good news about this is as brutal as it is, it's all run done with it's really nice and quickly, isn't it? All right. Little breather, shake out the arms. We're going to do round two very soon. Okay, should we go again? In position, getting down. Set yourself up in a high plank in two, one, let's go. Super slow, just working the downward section. Remember, your, when you finish your press up, you should end up with your elbows pointing downwards about 45 degrees. 
So we're not trying to come in for elbows here, not a very comfortable pace for our press ups, but think about pointing them back about four to five degrees. Weight pushed back behind your heels, abs pulled, belly button pulled in, abs are tight, creating tension through your body so that you're pushing against something nice and strong. Come on, come on, come on. Get time for another one. And relax. Shake it out. You can kneel up if you want. Shake it out. In three, two, one. We're going to go fast. Let's go. 30 seconds. Quick as you can. Bump. Push the floor away from you. Check your head position, make sure you're still looking beyond your fingertips. Two and one. All right, up to your feet. Break up your weights. Let's throw that weight overhead. Not literally, but that's the feeling you should get that it wants to fly out of your hands in two and one. Let's go. Explosive. Boom. Squeeze through the legs, throwing the weight up. All right, super duper. Relax, have a little moment. Now, I know this is very intense for anyone who's got shoulder or neck kind of pain. So as a quick alternative for this last set, you can swap out your press-ups with any kind of ab movement. So what I suggest is you do a plank for your first movement and do a crunchy exercise for the second and third movements, wait for the final bell. And that way you've got a little less pressure going on than the neck. So this is for anyone, neck, shoulder kind of issues. Um, use that, use some planks and abs as an alternative. Everybody else, get ready for your press-ups. Down you get, come on, in two and one. Super slow, super controlled. And remember, your objective is to try and get your chest and the, your thighs to hit the ground at the same time, right? So move your weight over to your heels or your hands, depending on what you need to do. So you're getting chest and tops of your thighs down at the same time. Often the tops of our thighs reach the floor first. And that's normally because we haven't got enough tension through the abs or we haven't got enough weight coming through on the hands. So you need to just shift that slightly. Excellent. All right. And next up, super soft, super fast press ups. Anyone going for the ab options, you're going to ignore this first bell and keep going straight through with your abs. Actually, you're going to, you're going to start with everybody else. In two and one, let's go. So everyone starts now. If you're ab crunching, you're going to ignore the next bell and just keep going straight through. Come on, press up people. Push the floor away. Make sure there's so much tension going through your abs that it's a strong plank, solid plank of wood that you're pushing against. All right, last one press ups. Awesome, get up onto your feet. Pick up weight up in your hand, keep crunching everybody else in two. And one, let's go. Squat thrusters, finish it off strong. 20 seconds, let's go. Throw that weight up, but control it on the way down. Good, come on, come on, come on.
Wait for that bell. There we go. Awesome. And that's our upper body set done. Brilliant. I guess you've forgotten how much your legs were hurting you just a moment ago, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's remind ourselves because for round three, we are back to legs. So we have a fun mishmash on this one. Um, of posterior chain and not posterior chain, the front of our legs. So we're gonna start off with, my mind's gone blank. We're gonna start off with, so for your slow, we are gonna go in with lunges. I'm gonna tell you when to stop, to swap. Actually, let's just do it. We'll go reverse lunges because we're a bit late on time. So we'll go reverse lunges, alternating legs, nice and controlled. It's two counts on the way down one count on the way up. So one, two, up, one, two, um, up, other leg, right? Your second exercise is going to be your regular kettlebell swings. And your third exercise, your explosive, is your power swings. Power swings, remember, is the one where you dead stop every time at the bottom. And the objective of this power swing is to get the kettlebell back to the starting point as quickly as possible. So if that's my pretend kettlebell, I'm gonna drag, boom, boom, get up and back down again as soon as, as quickly as possible. So it explodes through the hips forward, boom, boom. Explode through the hips forward, boom, boom. Okay? So exercise number one, alternating legs, reverse lunges, slow on the way down. Pick up your weights. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, up. One, two, up. So you're concentrating nice and slow on the way down. Powerful up, driving through the front foot. All right, so far so good. Okay, keeping it going. Remember, you're controlling on the way down, so slow it down a tad. Let's get back to one, two, up. One, two, up. Down for the count of two. And there's your first bell. Your second exercise is normal kettlebell swings. A few minutes. A few minutes, a few seconds, just to refresh your grip, get yourself set up, get ready for your swings in three, two, one, let's go. Well, normal kettlebell swing, so this is your fast, right? You're working through that 90 degree angle, bring the kettlebell up and down as quickly as possible. Okay, keep going, keep going. Remember, pull up as soon as the kettlebell breaks the vertical, push down as soon as it breaks the horizontal. Done. And finally, on to our, uh, what are they called? Power swings. Power swings. So it's an explosive move to initiate the, the hip drive and bring it back down as quickly as possible. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Up and down as quickly as possible. The kettlebell comes to a dead stop. That is actually the point of the power swing. It has to dead stop every single time. And then think about loading up through the hips, powerfully explode the hips forward, push back down to the ground. Objective is to get back to the starting point as quickly as possible. Bom, 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 should be the tempo. And there you go. Number one is done. 
Oof. Good, good, good. One down, two to go. I'm gonna give you a few more seconds to grab a drink. We're gonna go start again with our reverse lunges, alternating legs, slow on the way down. Tilted the screen so that I can do a few just to get the tempo right. I think we could just do a little bit better on that. Okay. Weights and hands. Get ready for our reverse lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, together. 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 Nice. One, two, together. One, two, together. So really slowing down that down. You're not falling from the sky, but rather really thinking about feeling that stretch through the quads. Sometimes if you're taking too wide a stride backwards, it's gonna be quite hard to get back up together. It doesn't need to be too wide. Looking for 90 degrees front and back, really. Keep it going, got a handful more seconds. One, two, together. Okay. Exercise number two, swings. In three, two, one, let's go. And let's swing. Boom. As you get to that horizontal position, pushing it down. As you get to the vertical position, pulling it up. Good, good, good. Keep it going nice and strong. Keep that kettlebell moving quickly. Slow, fast, explosive is the name of the game. Two, done. All right, come on, let's finish this set off. Explosive, get the kettlebell up and down again as quickly as possible in two and one, let's go. Dun, 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 dun should be the tempo. Explode upwards. That first drive is the most important. You want to try to get that kettlebell up as quickly as possible and then push it down as quickly as possible. Nice, nice, nice. Nearly there. All right, very good. Exercise number two is done. Okay, if you're feeling tired and worn out, there's good reason for it. This session is really hard, A, because there's a lot of volume in it, and B, because we are mixing up the different types of contractions, which makes it a lot harder, both physically, but also mentally, um, to get through the session. So it is hard. You're feeling it's hard because it is hard. But there you go. And we are 95% of the workout done. So let's finish it off. Get ready for your last set, starting off with reverse lunges, focusing on a slow down. In two and one, let's go. Dump, dump, dump. One. Two, up, one, two, up. So you're still moving down on the, between the two and the up, right? That's two whole seconds. One, two, up, one, two, up. Keeping it going. One, Two, up.
Final few seconds on this. Make sure you're not rushing through them. The focus is on slow. Okay, weight's done. Pop it down. Getting ready for your swings for the last time. In three, two, one, let's go. Swings, we're up, bum bum, nice and fast. Good, 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 good. Keep up the work rate, even though you've been fatigued and you've had enough. It's our final minute or so of work. Make it count, give it your best effort. Waiting for that bell. And here it is. Pop it down. Ready for power swings for the last time. In three, two, one, let's move. Ba bum, bum, bum should be your tempo. That first um, drive is super powerful. Load it up and then regressively push your hips forward. Bring the kettlebell to horizontal before pushing it back down again. Objective, get the kettlebell up and down as quickly as possible. Drive through the heels, tension through the body, moving that kettlebell where you want it. That's your final bell. There we go. Job is done. Right, well done people. Really, really good job. Um, not an easy one at all, this session, I'm fully aware. Spend some time stretching out before you disappear off doing whatever it is that you're doing next. So, it's quite a lot of work in the upper body here. So spend some time elongating neck and shoulders, especially this is sort of place that you hold on tension. Of course, all of our legs got hammered. Um, so you want to stretch out hip flexors, quadriceps, and hamstrings and glutes. You should know this by now. Spend your you know, five minutes of stretching on the things that particularly give you the most benefit. All right, so unless I've got any questions or anybody needs me, I'm going to uh, disappear off to the next session. Anyone? No, okay. looks different. all good. All right, guys, well done. Great session. I shall see you again some point very soon. Bye-bye-bye.